two dollars. I was eyeing this pair of Titanic that looks like one try. So this is yeah. I'm just stuck with loving this. Hi, I am back with another video, and this is the Korea haul from my very recent trip to Seoul. Just a heads up, I did not buy as much as I thought I would. When it comes to shopping, I'm not a super super impulsive person. I actually control myself a lot. What? This time round, because there are so many things to buy in Seoul, right? It's like a whole shopping heaven. Makeup, beauty products, you know, clothes, everything. So I told myself not to buy things just because of the trend or because of the hype. And I only bought the things that I feel like I will use more often. Okay, I'm gonna start off with clothes because I only bought three pieces of clothes in total. Wow. I am shocked because I really wanted to, you know, buy a whole bunch of them when I was there. But unfortunately, the clothes there are just one size or three size. So they were really a little bit big for me. Although the clothes are so pretty, I cannot buy buy them. First up, I have this cardigan. It's like a sheer cardigan thingy that is like quite coquette. I feel like it suits the whole Pilates girls vibe. This is quite cheap. I think I got it for $15 at the Lucky Factory. Oh no! This is what you get. <laughs> it's kind of like this. The thing is this material is quite scratchy la. It's not the most comfortable material. And from New New, I got two pieces. So I got this tank top that is super basic. In case you're thinking, does it look like what you're wearing? No. It looks like every other tank top that I have but it's different. You know, I like buying clothes that is of different cutting these days. I don't really like fancy prints too much. So the tank tops that I have are all cropped. This one is long so it lands all around my hips. And I needed a tank top that is longer. The material is really nice. It's like a little bit stretchy, thick. So this one is a little bit more expensive. I think it's 20 or 22. Another piece I got also from New New is this parachute pants. So I really needed a baggy parachute lightweight. So I only wear baggy pants when I'm on flight. So I wanted to get more options when it comes to baggy pants. This is the perfect cutting that I like. It's baggy enough. It's so big here you can just you know, tighten it however you want and you can also adjust the bottom so if it's too long, you can tighten it. Looks like a very basic piece but this is a little bit more expensive. It's $42 if I'm not wrong. So when it comes to clothes, the more popular ones are the local brands now like Mardi or Marite. But I went to those shops and they were both really really crowded. There were also a lot of logos going around which I am not really into these days. I also went to Emmys to see the cap and bags but you know my head is a little bit too small for the cap so I couldn't buy any of those but they are so cute so if you're going there please go check and them out. I got some socks really basic socks to match some of my shoes yep I think they are really cute they are quite cheap so it's only two dollars for a pair and the material is nice it's very thick and just good quality so at Nunu New New and Mimi line they have more accessories so I got a bunch of them Ta -da! They are actually really affordable. It's only $5 for this giant hoop earrings. It's like irregular shape. And the material is so nice, you know. It's sturdy. It's so cute. So this one is $6.50. I also got this really cute pair. This one is actually from another shop. It's called I Am Joy. Oh my god, love this. I think this is my favorite. For necklaces, I got this from New New. It's like it's a little bit more expensive. This one is also from New New. I got it in silver as well, that is a little bit smaller, so it kind of like claps on my earlobe. I also got this choker that looks like tiny little water droplets on my neck. Looks like that. This is a pearl choker necklace. I love that it is choking me. The best purchase because it is $2. <laughs> and also I got this claw clip. Let's move on to some of the beauty products. I'm gonna start off with contact lens because I got this from Olands. I am so like, I really regret not buying more. So after moving away from Hongdae, there is no much like beauty product contact lenses around my area anymore. I stock up on my favorite Scandi One Day Olands in Hazel. And I also got this double tint brown. This is the new one and I really like this. I got the small box one to try. After trying, I really like it but I never walk past Olands anymore. So I'm just stuck with loving this but I cannot get it. And I also stock up on the real ring one. So this is the brown one. I'm wearing real ring right now. So if you like really natural contact lenses, these three are the ones for you. So from Olive Young, I got some beauty products. This one is from Round Lab. I got it because of the packaging. 
I don't know what this is Yakong Pantenum Mask This one also from Brown Lab It's Sonamu Chinjong Shika Mask So this one I know because it's Shika inside So this is a soothing mask I don't really know what this is I think barrier I got a bunch of this because I really like soothing mask Also like to get moisturizing mask I got this Toridan Very famous everywhere Also got this Abib Gummy Sheet Mask Collagen Milk I guess it's more like nourishing So I got another Abib Mao Exidic Peach Sheet Mask This is uh, calming It's also soothing So the thing about Olive Yang is that Every single shop there is different promotions going on So maybe this shop you can see One mask is selling for a dollar But the other shop is selling for two If you see there is a promotion going on For the mask you want to buy Just buy Don't think Because maybe you go back tomorrow It's gone Okay Like the promotion just comes and goes Okay so I also got this very viral and popular popular round lab toner pad so I tried this and I really like it it's super moisturizing and the toner pads itself right it's very very thin okay so this is how thin the pad is and it is completely soaked in the toner yep so I bought this in Olive Yang on the first day when I was there and it was on sale so this is actually the 80 pieces one and they gave you another 10 piece for free after trying it I really like it I wanted to go back to get it but the promotion is gone <laughs> So the price difference is quite big and I'm just like, maybe I don't really need it that much. So I didn't get another pack. So at Olive Young, I also got this Hint Second Skin Foundation. It's recommended to me by my friend. She really swears by it because it's a really good foundation for natural finish. It smells great. Like whenever I apply it on my skin, I'm like... <laughs> I managed to get the last piece that comes with a free tiny little brush. I haven't tried with this brush yet but I'm actually wearing the second skin foundation today. It has really really light coverage so if you're not used to the light finish, this is not for you. For like everyday look, I think this is pretty nice. I just feel like the colour is a little bit dull on me but other than that, it's nice. So I use the lightest shade 21 Ivory. Yeah, I also got this Aromatica Pure and Soft Feminine Mist. It also comes with a travel size one. It smells nice, it's like very minty. You're supposed to spray it on the toilet paper and then this is actually quite an impulsive purchase because it was on a sale and I thought like, ooh, nice! So I just bought it because it's aromatica. I don't really reach out for it that much. But. So at Olive Young, I also got a lot of snacks. There is a lot of this sort of healthy snacks going on that is very viral on Xiangshu. So this is the garlic butter bagel chip. I got it in another few flavors and there is also this pretzel ones that is so nice. I really highly recommend you to get the onion cheese pretzel. That is my favorite out of all. The bagel, I feel like you can skip unless you really like those very sweet snacks. So another viral snack I got from Olive Young is this Milk Classic Tao Kwa Cha. So it's like rice cracker, milk flavor. So the first time I had this right, I'm, I'm like, it's tasteless. So the flavoring is really mild, but it is so soft, so it melts in your mouth. It's just a very nice, kind of healthy snack. I'm not even sure if it's healthy, but yeah, it's non-fried. So I also went to Hins, the actual flagship store in Hanam Dong. There, I got this glow balm so i would say this is quite a dupe for the chanel glow balm that i got so this one i got is the transparent one right here and then i tap it on a bit of glow it's much cheaper than chanel and it works pretty much the same i really like this because my skin is constantly matte so when i want to go for a glowy look this is so I think this is called the Water Liquid Tint. This is in the shade Blushed. I love this. This is like one of my favorite purchase. Like it's like a daily color for me. So it has a glossy finish and yeah, I just really really like this one. Highly recommend. And then at Song Sudong, I went to Free, which is uh, super famous for their pudding pot. So the pudding pot, there are so many different colors to choose from. I picked the ND04 Mai. Yeah, so it is just a squishy squishy pot. Then after buying this, you can pick a free gift. I picked this silicone pen that helps to apply your lip color. I'm actually using mine and then I top it off with the lip oil. Very nice shade. So it's super nice as a lip color and a cheek color. This is so nice to use. It's so squishy. On top of that, they also gave us this keychain. Yolo! You can pick the color that you want and I picked Lyric. I haven't tried this yet. It's a bit so cute. So right in front of Free, there is Innisfree and they are doing some pop-up cafe and I went in to get this tint balm. So it's a dewy tint lip balm in the shade 3, Love Beige. So this is my everyday color now. When I'm out, I like to bring a colored lip balm. So this one, 
so easy to use and the color is so nice it smells really nice also it smells like eucalyptus okay so that's all for the beauty products and the last item is something that i really 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 like Ta -da! it's the rockfish shoes it's like a sandal sneaker hybrid uh, i love this so much you know i had to queue up to go into rockfish but when i was outside i was eyeing this pair of shoes already i'm like i am going to get that when i go in so the moment i step into the shop i'm like <laughs> Get me that! So for rockfish, the smallest size is actually one size bigger than mine. I'm sold. I'm sold before I even step into the shop. After that, I bought these socks to match. Kinshen Itui. Perfect match. I love this. This is my favorite purchase. Okay, so that is all for my Korea haul. I hope I didn't miss out anything. I think I bought more snacks and like food and things like that because I'm surprised. Like I feel like I spent a lot of money, but I didn't buy a lot of things at the same time. Now that I am back, I am really like... I want to go back and shop. It's so addictive to shop in Korea. There are just so many pretty things to look at. It gets a little bit overwhelming when you are there because it's just like, should I get this or should I get that? Or like, do I get all? So I feel this is more than a haul video, it is a recommendation video because I am actually obsessed with most of the things that I bought. So instead of blindly following certain things, you blindly follow me. <laughs> I picked out the good stuff for you already. Okay, so that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you guys very very soon for the next one. Bye!